Hello, hello, hello there, everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to the annual Academy Awards predictions. And it's crazy that I'm even able to even say this, but I have been doing predictions for officially 10 years. Uh, Woo! I did the predictions solo the first couple of years of this channel. So I've been doing this since 2013. And then 2015 is when I started doing it with my friends. But it's crazy to be doing this for 10 years now because it's something that I've definitely have enjoyed doing. It's really the reason I even watch the Oscars every year, to be honest, just because I like seeing how many I get right and how many I get wrong. But I honestly think it's even more fun to do with my friends over here. So I'm very happy to have these folks. And this is definitely the biggest group we've ever had with a total of nine people. That is crazy. Before we do get to our predictions, I'm going to let everyone give their little introductions. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with someone that is participating in the predictions with us for the first time ever. Brian Mendoza. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna get. We're gonna nominate the KCAs, even though it's been a week. You know, um, I hope Walking Dead wins Best Picture. That's what I'm hoping. And uh, yeah, in all seriousness, Optimus, you're right with that. <laughs> Optimus, <laughs> Optimus Prime. I was gonna say Optimus Prime did deserve that Lifetime Achievement Award, though. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is my first time here, and I'm. Really excited, and I'm ready. So, yeah. Next one up, also doing predictions with us for the first time, is Timothy Anderson. Uh, sorry, sir. My name is actually Jackson Fulcher. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Jackson uh, Fulcher. Yes, Jackson Fulcher, definitely. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I'm I'm really happy to be here, and I believe in Top Gun supremacy. That said, it's not my choice for best picture. But, spoilers, uh, no, I'm just glad to be here. This is my first time doing them. I'm pretty nervous because I don't want to get coerced into watching a shitty movie next year. I'm very excited. Uh, I can't wait to be, I uh, can't wait to do this with you guys. So let's go. Next one up we have is Henry Ewing. Yummy. Let's see who's going to get those sexy gold statues. Next one up we got is Violet. Hello. First of all, this webcam is absolutely horrible, so I apologize for that in advance. Uh, my, my laptop isn't working, so I have to borrow another laptop, so I apologize. Uh, but thank you for having me on, Tony. I'm very, very excited. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, I haven't done this actually since 2020, uh, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be back, and thank you. Next one up here we have is... Timothy Anderson, or Jackson Fulcher, I should say. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 wow, there's a lot of flipping people here, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Um, I'm really excited. This is like one of my favorite things to do each year. So yeah, and it's it's great to do it with so much competition. <laughs> this is going to rule, maybe. And, and maybe, unlike Timothy, I will go with Top Gun, or maybe I won't. Maybe this is another misdirect. Maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe I'm going to wing it. Maybe I've got it prepared. I don't know. Move on. <laughs> Next one up here is the duck himself, Andrew Hayes. Hello. This is, my, I want to say, my fourth time doing it, and it is something I look forward to every year. I love uh, predicting stuff with my friends and then laughing about how good some people did or how bad some people did after next one up we got is jordan farrell uh great to be <clears throat> here uh whenever i'm not playing with my pokeballs or making movies uh, i spent some time putting together uh, my picks for uh the oscar predictions list and hopefully i will pop in in the prediction results uh on like last year and mm -hmm. last one up in this lineup is Diego Coya. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Tony, for having me on here again. Uh, all I will say is that I do believe I'll do better this year than I did last year. I didn't do terrible last year, but I thought I would do better. But um, I think I'll do pretty good this year. So I'm looking forward to hearing what everyone else thinks and seeing what the results ultimately will be. 
Wait, hold on. I fix that. That's <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and of course, just to refresh everyone, I did win last year's predictions, and the winner gets a Funko Pop of their choice. So this Ooh. is basically my trophy from last year's prediction. So I'm curious how I'll do this year. I don't expect myself to top what I did last year, but hopefully I still do well, at least with this year. I swear to God, a Tony goes perfect. <laughs> Wins again. Oh, boy. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Only one to get 23 out of 23. <laughs> okay, of course, everyone, we have our friend Adobe Photoshop over here. Yay. Yay. <clears throat> So first one up we got here is actor and a leading role. So we got Austin Butler for Elvis, Colin Farrell for the Banshees of Inishirin, Brendan Fraser for the Well, Paul Pascal for After Sun, and Bill nice Nye, one. not not Bill Nye the Science Guy for Living. <laughs> oh wait, did you say something, Jackson? It, it's Mescal, not Pesco. Wait, did I say Pesco? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Paul Mescal. I didn't even catch myself saying Pesco. Yeah, I mixed up with Pedro Pascal. And I know. <laughs> so for my prediction over here, this one was definitely a toss-up because it could go to Austin Butler, but it could also go to Brendan Fraser. So this was one of the categories I was, like, really sweating which one to decide. But I have officially decided that I think Austin Butler will take home the Oscar for this award. Mm. Um, I pick Austin Butler too. Uh, Brendan Fraser. I guess I'll do Ti, so everyone knows that's you. Too. Yeah, Ti. I'll do what I do. I'll do what I do. I'm a rocker now. I'll, I'll do what I do with Jordan, <laughs> where I put Jo for Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to go to Austin Butler. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. no. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, this is the one I am, one of the ones I'm most conflicted on. Um, I am going to fully admit, I think Austin Butler is the front runner, but I'm still going to go Brendan Fraser. Um, I just like honestly, it is what it's just one of those that like I really want Brendan Fraser to win. I have nothing against Austin Butler, but just like what Brendan Fraser has been through, I just I just want him to win. So like I'm just gonna root for him. And um, I mean he has the best chance besides Austin Butler. So I will I'm gonna go with Brendan Fraser. Mm -hmm. Um, I want Brendan Fraser to win, and seeing him get the sag, it was like maybe, but that's the thing <clears throat> is that. You know, Austin Butler's playing real life guy, and you know, Rami Malik with Freddie Mercury and Judy Garland with or uh, Renee Zellweger with Judy Garland. So, I, I, in, <laughs> I have to go with Austin Butler. I, I, it's a toss up, but I, it's landed on Butler. It's Apologies, Brendan. I love you though, Brendan. Um, I, I too am conflicted on this. My, my heart says to go with Brandon Frazier, but my mind and my gut are kind of telling me to go with Austin Butler. Um, but what's your ass saying? Oh, my ass <laughs> says more fiber in your diet. No, shit. Just too much momentum for Austin Butler right now. So I'm going with Austin Butler. Um... I'm just going to go with uh, Brendan uh, Fraser, personally. All right, Joe. Keith Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Joe is a good name. The next Pixar wow, movie, Tiff Joe. Joe. All right. Where's Diego go? Is Diego still there? Where's Diego? Wait, what the hell? Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, Diego left. Let me see what happened. Okay. <clears throat> TV. Wish, everybody. TV okay. Joe? Okay, he's back. He's back. Okay. Oh. Yes. yes! Um, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Me uh, neither. No problem. But my my prediction is Austin Butler will win the Oscar. He's usually right about these things, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say that was no Austin Butler. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, everyone. So very interesting right here. I like everyone's predictions right now. I'm excited. 
Okay, next one up we got is actress in a leading role. So we got Kate Blanchett for Tar. Thank you. Anna de Anmas for Blonde. Okay, I might need help on this one, Jackson. Andrea Riseboro? Andrea Riseboro. Riseboro, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Timothy. Uh, for Two Leslie, uh, Michelle Williams for The Fablemans, and Michelle Yeoh for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Now, um, <clears throat> of course, uh, I know in the early stages of this, Kate Blanchett was like the front runner, but obviously as time has been going on, Michelle Yeoh is the one that's been gaining like a lot of momentum. Um, and while I do think Kate still has a chance to win this, I think ultimately she'll take home the award. Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh. All right. I'm going with Yo. Yo. Uh, I think this is one that Kate Blanchett can very easily still win, but I'm going to go Michelle Yeoh. Damn. <laughs> Interesting. No one wants to go with Andrea Riceboro, huh? Yeah. I'm also that. going with Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> I actually thought she got her nomination um, decided, but I'm gonna be honest. A part of me wants to go with Kane Blanchett right now, just because uh, I could see her winning it. I could see this being like, and this is no disrespect to Mark Rylance, but I could see this being like a Mark Rylance situation where everybody like everybody's rooting for Sylvester Stallone, but it goes to Mark Rylance. Um, and that's no disrespect to Kane Blanchett either, but. I, it's probably going to be Michelle Yeoh, so I'm going to go with her. I'm also going to go with Michelle Yeoh. Uh, and I as well will go with Michelle Yeoh. Woo! Oh, we, we do. Clean sweep! Tony, is this a first? All oh, right. Week? Like a major category where everyone's predicted the same thing for like one of the major categories. Oh Maybe. dang! <laughs> no, uh, the chat with Bozeman though. No, yeah, yeah. There's Bozeman. We've had like some other ones. Now this one we got is actor in a supporting role. So we got Brendan Gleeson for the Banshees of Inisherin, Brian Tyree Henry for Causeway, Judd Hirsch for the Fablemans, Barry Keegan for the Banshees of Inisherin, and Ke Hui Kwan. For everything, everywhere, all at once. I don't have to say anything more. That's my prediction. <laughs> Same here. <clears throat> okay, so this one I was always kind of struggling with when I first saw the nominations. But over time, I've kind of just realized how happy I would actually be if I saw uh, Quan win Best Supporting Actor. So he's my choice to I'm also going with Ki Hui Kwan. I'm going with all of y'all. I'm the same. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> going with Ki, and I don't mean Ki and Peel. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to show myself out. One of those two uh, is already an Oscar winner, though. Uh, I'm going with Judd Hirsch. Uh, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm going with Quan. Uh, <laughs> nice. I guess he'd give it, watch him give it to Judd Hirsch, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, he was critically. But that was a uh, one of the best received performances last year. So. I'm also gonna go with the Quan. All right, short round. And so am I. I'm so going to go with Brian Terry Henry. Next one up we got is actress in a supporting role. So we got Angela Bassett for what Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Hong Chow for The Whale. Carrie Condon for The Banshees of Inishirin. Jamie Lee Curtis for Everything Everywhere All at Once. And Stephanie Su uh, yes. for Everything Everywhere All at Once. So, 
um, for my prediction, um, I know I've been hearing a lot of talk about Angela Bassett. So I think Angela Bassett will take home on this I'm going one. With, I'm going with Stephanie on this one. Nice. The first uh, split way right there, Brian. Nice. Stephanie. I believe that Angela Bassett will do the thing. Woo! Flawless. This is going to be an interesting of course, video of course, soon. Of course, Henry had to say that. But... <laughs> um, so I, I know that there's been a lot of momentum recently for like Jamie Lee Curtis. So I'm going to think Stephanie who's going to pull up a big upset. Um, I think Angela Bassett's going to win. I think if anyone else is not going to win, it's actually going to be Carrie Condon. Uh, but I think Angela Bassett will, I, will win. You sure you don't want to do Jamie Lee Curtis? For... I, I, listen, I love Jamie Lee Curtis, but I, I very much think Angela Bassett's going to win. You don't think she should win for that? Uh, I, I I would love for it to be Stephanie Hsu, but it's – and I even though Jamie Lee Curtis won the SAG Award, I still think Angela Bassett is the – that's the one who's probably going to take it this year. I'd love to be wrong if it's Stephanie or even – even Carrie Condon, I you know, because I love Banshees of Inner Sharon. But um, yeah. Either way, Angela Bass is great. Shut up, Andrew. I'm sorry. Please be. <laughs> oh. Um, a part of me kind of wants to go with Curtis. Just do it. Uh, I feel like there has been a bit of momentum on her side recently, but um, also this is what a lot of like quote unquote experts and what do they know? Um. <sighs> But I, I kind of agree with what's been said. It's either Angela Bassett or Carrie Condon, in my opinion. And I think it's more likely to be Angela Bassett at this point. You mean a tie? Yeah, you know what? I'm going with a five way tie between everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with Stephanie. I predict that Angela Bassett will win the Oscar. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> yeah. VTI yeah. Joe. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Next one up we got here is original score. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Babylon, The Banshees of Benishirin, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and The Fable Men's. Now I know this is one that maybe all quiet on the Western Front could get, but I've been hearing a lot of talk when it comes to Babylon's score. So I'm going to go with that one to win an original score. Everything I remember all at once. All right. So for me, uh, the music is the most important part of the film. Uh because it conveys all the emotion. That said, uh, the the score for Babylon was so goddamn great, and I loved it. So that's my choice. Yes. The two T's. You mean T T and T I? T T I L. I think it's pronounced Titty. Hey. Wow, Jordan. Jordan, not on International Women's Day. Yeah, happy International Women's Day, everybody. <laughs> you, know what, you know what? I'm not even going to join anymore. I'm so offended. Wow. <laughs> you know what? It's funny that it's on Babylon as well, since that movie had so much tits in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Guys, hot take, but I love movies. The I'm, movie. I'm really proud of you for, for uh, admitting that. All right, I will make it into Titi. Damn. <laughs> oh, man, not the titty. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Wow, everyone, since we have the titty, we might as well get a woman in here, so I'm also going to go with Babylon, Justin Hurwitz. I, I think it's going to go to that. Nice. How about the tit fees? Titi. I remember the early days when they were trying to pump out like, man, this is John Williams' last score and, you know, legacy and all that. It's a bummer he's going to lose to Justin Hurwitz. I'm going with Babylon. 
Um, I'm also going with Babylon. Uh, I'm going to throw a curveball. I think the Fablements will win just simply because of <gasps> just John Williams. I could be wrong, but yes. I know the Os- I know how the Oscars can be uh, ass kissy. Yes. <laughs> I predict Babylon will win. Yeah, it's the red choice, red choice. <laughs> I have a winner. question. What's, What's up? up? Is uh-huh. the Fablements his last score? Because I thought Indiana Jones was rumored to be his last score. Indiana Jones. This, well, they're trying to. They, yeah, but they're promoting this as like his last one with Spielberg specifically. Because okay. like Mangold is doing. I mean, oh. he he also he also did say like if if Spielberg wants me to keep doing them, I'll do it. So gotcha. it's not really. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna compose on my back. <laughs> oh no! God damn. Okay, next one up we got is original song. So we got applause. Hold my hand. Lift me up, not to, not to, and this is a life. Well, considering this is the only nomination RRR even got at the Oscars, I also do believe this is the only uh, one's going to win as well. So I think it will go to not to, not to, not to, not to, all the way. They're going to have a performance on Sunday, I heard. Yeah. Tony, you already know. Not to, not to? No. Lady Wait, Gaga, motherfucker. Yeah, it was the Top Gun Tuck. song. Oh, okay. Undo, undo, undo. Wow. I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, it's actually is not to, not to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Timothy, you <laughs> Timothy, you Motherfucker. <laughs> Damn you. You're I'm going to sue Timothy. I'm going to sue Timothy. I'm gonna sue Timothy after this. The second time I mouth open this recording. Uh, you have no idea how much Photoshop fucking costs for Tony. <laughs> uh, well, I actually have I actually have this for free, thankfully. Nice. Oh, you lucky slut. You're welcome. Uh, I'm also thinking not to not to. Watch it actually go to hold my hand though. <laughs> I also think it will go to not too. I mean, that's the thing is like, you know, <clears throat> something like lift me up or like hold my hand is like a little bit more like, I guess, technically mainstream, but like not too, not too is just so fucking hype. It has to be that one, you know? RR itself is very hype. So that's my pick, by the way. You can write the J on there. And that's, that's my pick. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to flip flop on you. <laughs> pull a, pull a <laughs> thing, you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> um, mine is also gonna be not too, not too. Uh, I have not seen RRR yet, but I'm gonna go with not too, not too. Uh, same here, I think that's gonna win as well. Okay. All right, next one up, we got his animated feature. So we got Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, not the Poly Shore one, thankfully. <laughs> Marcel, or the Disney Mar- remake. <laughs> Marcel, the show with shoes on, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, The Sea Beast, and Turning Red. Now, normally I know for any other year, it would just easily go to a Disney movie. But I do think for the case of this year, it will not be like that. Um, I am confident that Pinocchio will take home animated feature. Pinocchio, my pick. Same for uh, you guys, Pinocchio. The Polly Shore one? Yes. No, the Disney <laughs> remake. <laughs> hmm. Where's Tom Hanks? I'm also going with not Zemeckis. <laughs> I also will be going with Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Um, I will also be going with Ewan McGregor as a cricket, the movie. <laughs> love that. <I> love that. <laughs> um, Guillermo del Toro's version of Pinocchio. 
I thought you said Virgin of Pinocchio, but thank you. <laughs> I thought I heard that too. I'm gonna go with uh, Pinocchio, which I should have been nominated for Best Picture, but it is what it is. I agree with you, Jordan, hundred um, percent. On both fronts, that that's gonna win, and that it should have been nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. Man, it's a bummer that Minions Two didn't end up here. You know. <laughs> yeah, I was really rooting for. Him. Yeah, we got we got Mario. So you know, next year so we <laughs> Mario sweep next year. <laughs> yeah, Mario will win a lot. Next what about year? Trolls Three? Boom. Oh God, is that coming out this year? Unfortunately, hey, wait. Out. There's gonna be a Trolls Three. Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> there is. Oh <laughs> my God. No, I'm not looking forward to that. I know. I know. November seventeenth. Now, uh, this category, um, I. Uh, Actually watched with Violet, Brian, and Jordan uh, this past Monday night, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, but we have animated short film, so we got the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Try saying that five times. The flying sailor, ice merchants, my year of dicks. Got him. And an ostrich told me the world is fake, and I think I believe it. What a title! Amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I do think for this category, uh, because I know uh, it's the one I've noticed at least has gotten the most attention, I think it will go to The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. I do think Apple TV Plus will get a win for this one. Ice Merchants. I haven't seen any of these, so... but good. Uh, I'll go ahead and say my year of dicks just because that's the word. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think I'm doing the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. <laughs> I am gonna go with ice merchants, and I am gonna, and I will also say this: if you have not seen ice merchants, it's on YouTube and the New Yorker channel. It is one of the best animated short films I have ever seen, so I highly recommend it. But I'm gonna predict a Funny. boy, mole, fox, and horse because I, I ain't seen, I ain't seen these. This is the one you're going with, Jackson? Yes, that's, that's the what the yeah 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 that one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the yeah that, that yeah. Just yeah. wanted to clarify. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. I, I want, I want. I predict the one with the horse in it. My ear of dicks could have a horse. We don't know. <laughs> it had something, all right. But, <laughs> but but does it but does it have Idris Elba as the fox? I don't mm, we don't know. Want to know what movie has a horse in it? Freddy got fingers. Oh, oh no! Oh, dude. Goodness oh, no. gracious! I'm a oh, farmer, no. daddy. <laughs> I'm conflicted. It's like ice merchants, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. But I'm gonna go with the horse's cock. The first one. Uh, I think he said my year dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what you're referring to, Jordan? Uh no. I kinda hope my year and dicks wins. I'm gonna predict uh, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Rest in peace, that ostrich. That short film is crazy. I also recommend that one. Nice. Okay, next one up we got is live action short film. So we got An Irish Goodbye, I Valu, Le Pupili, I know I butchered that, I apologize, Night Ride, and The Red Suitcase. Now, now I have no idea, so I just had to like kind of look like kind of here and there what's been kind of getting like I guess the most talk of these, um, and I guess I noticed Le Poupel, Poupel is a <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you pronounce it, I apologize, but I'm also going to assume because Alfonso Cordon uh, is a part of it that he'll take home the award for this, so that'll be my prediction. I'm going with an Irish goodbye. You're going to say goodbye to me in Irish, Brian? Huh? But you're sober. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm going with the, 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 the one with Alfonso Coron's name on it. <laughs> Don't worry. 
sorry, Timothy. I had a hard time too, so don't worry. Right, I'm <clears throat> taking an Irish goodbye. Fuck you, St. Patrick's Day. Whoa! He'll say anything. We're gonna stomp on those uh, leprechauns. Yeah. I have a question. Can y'all hear me? I, I switched my microphone. Can y'all still hear me? I can hear you right now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can right, hear you. Cool. Awesome. Um, I am going to go with an Irish goodbye. Uh, yeah. BHV, a brand um, new network. I will go in with. I, I, I will go with uh, Le, Le Pupiel as well. Lupe, oh, Lupe, my God. Uh, wow. Hey, the one with the wrong name on it. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything because I'm stupid. I want the one Jackson just said. Yeah! Andrew's like, I'm not going to bother pronouncing this name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever they just did. <laughs> Andrew hates French people. <laughs> I'm going to go with Lee pubic hair. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oh, there's uh, a reason why yeah. I enjoyed that. Yes, same, same here. That's I'm also going with that. What? I, I, I could have sworn yeah. you told me that. Man, I really Jesus think Christ. I read two cases in one. All right, next one up we got is documentary short film. So we got The Elephant Whisperers, Haul Out, How Do You Measure a Year, The Martha Mitchell Effect, and Stranger at the Gate. So similar to you know to the previous category, I'm definitely no expert at this. I kind of just had to like really, really decide, kind of see what's getting like, I guess, the most momentum for what I could at least gather. Um, I guess the elephant whispers is getting the most momentum, so that's what I'll predict. I'm going with haul out. Uh Again, I haven't seen any of these, but I'm just going to go with the elephant whispers. Another titty. Oh my God. I'm going to whisper all over Brian's elephants. No. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> I am going to go with how do you measure a year? How do you measure a year? <laughs> I can tell you by looking at a calendar. I'll measure you. Wow, I'll have to try that. I'm I'm gonna go with the elephant whispers in honor of Babylon. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Uh, I like elephants; they're my favorite animal. So that. Oh, wow. I thought it was ducks. No, I I am the duck. What the fuck? I'm out of here. The elephant, I would just like, why? I'm not, come on, Jackson. Um, My year of ducks. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Dumbo the documentary. <laughs> solid, 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 solid. And I predict the elephant whisperer will win the Oscar. Gosh. Because sheesh. of Babylon? Uh, precisely. Precisely. My year of dick. <laughs> all right. Next one up we got is documentary feature film. We got All That Breeze, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, yes. Fire of uh -huh. Love, A House Made of Splinters. Oh, goodness. That sounds painful. And Navalny, if that's they how you sound, pronounce it. They sound like fucked up documentaries with the titles. Um, so, yeah, once again, not much of an expert here. But <laughs> I noticed uh, Navalny, um, it's either this one or Fire of Love that I've noticed. But I think Navalny is gaining more of the momentum for this. So I'll go with that as well. Same here. Well, if I go by stats, like I was told not to. Less sad. <laughs> um, screw it. I'll just go with novelty or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Navalny as well. So this one's interesting because I think there's actually quite a few here that can win. 
Um, I'm torn between all the beauty and the bloodshed and fire of love. Um, I think I'm gonna go fire of love. Uh, I know all the beauty and the bloodshed has like a lot of critical acclaim, like on the golden lion, but I'm gonna go fire of love. I think that's gonna win. I am uh, doing uh, Navalny. That's my prediction. That's what I'm going for. That's right. I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to go for Fire and Love there. I was like, oh, is he going to go on Violet's side? No, I just I, I lost my place on this paper, and I was trying to remember what I picked. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, oh, fuck, what did I pick for this? <laughs> The one that most people are going with. I like that. Huh. Yeah, that was your favorite documentary, Andrew. No, <laughs> it was my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everyone else loved it, clearly, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Fire of Love. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Tony put a um, a, an O on my next to my J. This will be called a VJ. Lameo. We got him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Uh, so my prediction is actually Fire of Love. Oh, uh, I think we messed up. <laughs> we just lost. We just lost this one, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Diana. VJ. So good too. <laughs> All right, next one up. International feature film, All Quiet on the Western Front, Argentina, 1985, Close, EO, and The Quiet Girl. Uh, with the momentum it's been getting, I think definitely, absolutely, been All Quiet on the Western Front. That's funny. You're not quiet, Tony. I'm going with the same I know. one. Same movie. I heard it's like a remake of an old movie too. I yeah, no it is. Yeah, yeah from, the, like from, like the, from like the nineteen thirties. Yeah. It won. It won best picture. Yeah. Based on a book too, is that right? Or am I thinking of something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and there's another part. version that came out in nineteen seventy nine, I believe. Right. I'm pretty sure I watched one of them. Sorry, that's a really. Uh, well, I've only seen All Quiet on the Western Front, and I watched it with my grandparents, and that was bad. But whatever. So that's my choice. I'm gonna quiet all over your western front. What? What the fuck? Quiet? What? what? Uh, you know, I, I will. I will say. I think the winner for this is obvious. Uh, but I will say, there's a lot of great films nominated here. Uh, like I've heard of all of these, and you know, they're all very, very worthy. But obviously, since Final Fantasy is nominated for Best Picture, like that's pretty obviously gonna win. So that's my pick. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Um, doing this prediction uh, thing has reminded me that I forgot to log close on Letterboxd. Whoops. Um, but I'm going all quiet on the Western Front. Obviously, guys, it's Cold War. Um, <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's going to be all quiet on the Western Front. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be I'd be quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> Yeah, there is no question that All Quiet and Western Front is winning, so I'm choosing that one. All right, next one up we got is makeup and hairstyling. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, The Batman, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, and The Whale. Uh, this one I was definitely thinking between Elvis and The Whale. Uh, definitely have to do a little bit of thinking of this one, but I think ultimately just because Elvis has more nominations than something like the well at the Oscars, I think they're going to give it more towards something like Elvis. So that's my prediction. I predict it's going to go to the well. Elvis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, <laughs> I got a third titty. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Maybe more than one by now. 
Hey, yo, I thought that said Jack Harlow under Black Panther. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Black Panther Wakanda forever. I will be going with the whale because Brendan Fraser. That that, that seems like an easy win for me. Oh that no, the initials on there now. No. <laughs> Let's go. That PJ on, for man. Brendan Fraser. Oh no. <laughs> um, you know, I, I I was kind of thinking about going for the world, but you know, that's changing my mind. I'm going with Elvis. You said Elvis? Yes. Okay. I might ruin it or enhance it, but I'm gonna go with the whale. BJJ. <laughs> oh, double BJ. Banjo? <laughs> Don't you mean banjo? <laughs> that's one plus 5,000. Yeah, that's a tongue technique we call the banjo. Oh, no. So between the whale and Elvis, I personally believe that the whale should win, but I see the Academy giving Elvis the Oscar, so I'm going to go with that. Ah, back on Damn, I thought we were going to have a B. Joe. <laughs> My name is okay. B. Joe, but you can call me BJ. Oh, Jesus. Next one up we got. Next one up we got is visual effects. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar: The Way of Water, The Batman, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, and Top Gun: Maverick. And don't need to really say anything. Avatar: The Way of Water. Well. I'm I'm going with Avatar 5000, The Last Airbender. <laughs> there's, there's no question about it. Avatar. Man. Man. Throw, throwback Thursday? Oh, never mind. <laughs> when James Cameron was in Pandora Land, let my Cameron win. I've mean, watched Black Panther actually win. <laughs> I am also going with Avatar the Way of Water. Avatar the Shape of Water. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's got to be Avatar. Um, if Black Panther does win, what the hell? Because those nanotech masks suck my ass. That's it. I like how Top Gun is being like, oh, it's all real, but it's nominated for visuals. Some um, yeah, Avatar. Yeah, Avatar. I'm gonna Jeez. go with Avatar. I like how we're all voting for Avatar and Tony's writing in blue. Ah. Yeah, Avatar. The way it is, my favorite color. Same. Yeah, blue's my favorite color. That's why if you guys notice, I always write this in blue because that's my personal favorite color. Blue is a creative color, unlike green. Yeah, green is definitely not a creative color. Next one up we got is cinematography. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Bardo, False Chronicle of a Handful of Truths, Elvis, Empire of Light, and Tar. So... I know uh, there could be a chance that Elvis could get it, um, but I know All Quiet, I've also have noticed, has been getting some wins for this category. But while I do think Elvis has a shot to get this, uh, I'm going to go with All Quiet on the Western Front for this. All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, Western Front. As much as I hate to go against Roger Deakins, I don't think I've heard anybody talk about the cinematography of Empire of Light. I forget I that. I forget that. All quieting all over the Western Front. <laughs> I am going to also go with All Quiet on the Western Front. One thing I am going to say, though, uh, just just to you know support Timothy here, the fact that Top Gun Maverick wasn't nominated for this is a joke. 
Oh, like, no, right? What that. the fuck? I, I, just, I just want to quickly say that, because, like, I don't know, that's how I feel. I can't but, believe that, too. I agree. Shit, save for Avatar. Um, I I will go with Elvis. The The only reason is because it did win the <laughs> American Society of Cin- Cinematographers Award, which, you know... That I, I I gotta stick with that stat. You know? No, it's yeah, the one stat yeah. I'm gonna stick with. Oh no, trust me, um, I totally understand that. I think it should go to Empire of Light because that cinematography was absolutely beautiful. Um, but I don't know, man. Um, Big Elvis. You know what, Jackson? You're right. <laughs> yes. Let's. You know, You're gonna join Jackson on this. Yeah, I, you know what? It's either I'm either gonna regret it. I'm not gonna regret it. Well, let's go with Elvis. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go with the Western Front. All quiet on the Western Front. Damn it. God, we messed up. Shit. Uh, Come back. Come back. <laughs> uh, uh, Wait, I meant, did I say Elvis? I meant how quiet on the Western Front is. The fuck? We're going to lose that guy. <laughs> you don't have to change it. Yeah, no. Hey, you never know, Jackson. Elvis could be a... No, you, you're right. Prize you, win. You will all look be like, like oh, I won? <laughs> we're gonna say hey, we're gonna say know. Elvis, and at first I'm gonna be like, "Oh fuck, damn, I can't believe we lost that." <laughs> like, like, oh wait, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like, "Gross, why?" And then I'm gonna be like, "Oh wait a second. Don't forget, Jackson. I am one of the like, rare people that uh, predicted Belfast to an original screenplay, and look right, what <laughs> and then it did. Is that a dog? <laughs> 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 the dog, the dog wants to get their opinion in on this. <laughs> like, oh, no, right. said. <laughs> I don't speak dog that well, but I'm pretty sure they just said Elvis is going to win. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, everyone. Now we got film editing. So we got. The Banshees of Benishirin, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Tar, and Top Gun Maverick. And, um, oh man. Well, I'm noticing Everything Everywhere is getting like the most momentum out of all the nominees here. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Everything Everywhere All at Once in the Multiverse of Madness, Part 2, Chapter 3. <laughs> All right, look, so it must have been a pain in the ass to edit together a bunch of uh, planes flying around like they did in Top Gun because apparently there was some footage that couldn't be used. That said, one of my favorite shots of last year had was in Everything Everywhere all at once involving the editing when it just kept flashing Michelle Yeoh in different places. <laughs> Everything everywhere as well. I think this one is very close between Elvis and everything ever all at once. The two very large, very long, you know, large scale uh, films that are very hard to edit, of course. Um, But I think I'm going to go everything over all at once, but I won't be surprised if all this one's this. I think that's between those two. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, like the, the Ace Awards gave it to Top Gun Maverick. Um, so it could very well be that one, and Timothy does bring up a good point for that. But usually when it comes to this one, it's like, like for me, I've noticed like it's usually like whatever movie is obviously edited. That's why, you, you know, you're your bow rap wins or like something else. So at first I was leaning towards Elvis, but you know, everything everywhere all at once is actually like chaotic editing. That's like good and not just, not just a bunch of shit thrown at you. So I'm going to go with everything everywhere all at once and hope that that wins. Everything everywhere all at the same time. (laughs) If if this loses, Jackson's going to go to the mountain and the rock scene and jump off of it. You are right. (laughs) 
<laughs> Actually, Jackson's going to go to the Paramount Mountain and just jump off the tip. <laughs> I'm going to find the Stallone <laughs> part of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> just bring me one of the stars first. Elvis wins. Jackson's okay, yeah. going to uh, predict the tie for Beth Agnes. You're right. <laughs> I'm going to go with everything everywhere because that's how I went when I saw one of the bad guys land in slow motion on that buck plug. (laughs) Everything everywhere all at once is my pick. (laughs) All right. Next one we got is best sound. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Batman, Elvis, and Top Gun Maverick. Okay, this one I am going to take a bit of a gamble on because I know realistically All Quiet on the Western Front could win this because war movies tend to normally win this category. But I'm just going to take a bit of a gamble here and I will say possibly, possibly... This could be the only win Top Gun Maverick could win at the Oscar. It's Top Gun, baby. Fuck yeah, give it to Top Gun. Yep. I'm going for it, too. You know how it had to have been hard to do the sound design for that movie? Yeah, definitely. I agree. I'm going to top Brian's guns here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I will say, uh, Top Gun Maverick also is technically a war movie, um, so yeah. it, it is Very between true. it is between All Quiet on the Western Front and Top Gun Maverick. Um, I think All Quiet on the Western Front has a very very good chance, but I just think when it comes down to it, I think it's going to go to Top Gun Maverick. But if All Quiet on the Western Front wins, I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, I, same here. Like, I think there's a very big chance it could win. Like for sure. I. I, I, I think it is going to be Top Gun, uh, and it could be anything, right? But I, I think Top Gun, just because that was the movie, I think out of the most of the – just a little bit more than Avatar, just in the sense of, like, they really promoted the IMAX one. Like, with Avatar, it was, like, IMAX but also 3D, and Top Gun was mostly, like, man, the sound of those jet engines, dude. You're really in it. So yeah. I think the sound – this will win that just because of the whole immersion of it and everything. I think it's Top Gun, bitch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, sound design, wow. sound design is incredible in that movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Top Gun Maverick. I really wish I saw that movie in IMAX. Top Gun Maverick. Wait, did you not? No, I saw it in Cinemark XD. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. When I predicted this, I thought it was going to be the only one that predicts this and everyone's like Western Front. Um, I guess not. Okay, interesting. <laughs> the There's a very good chance movie? we're all wrong, so I guess it's not the It goes to the Batman. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, I mean, hey, 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 this one. hey, 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 I plan on fighting this to the end. Okay. Next one up we got is costume design. So we got Babylon, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. Okay, so I think for costume design, oh man, I did have to think hard um, because I was thinking about when Black Panther, oh, took home costume design the year you know the award show was on uh but i am hearing most of the talk go towards elvis so as much as part of me is thinking maybe it could be a surprise win that black panther wins it uh ultimately i think the academy will give it to elvis so that is my prediction everything everywhere all at once babylon AD. <laughs> God, I hate that movie. Me too. Conda <laughs> forever. Oh, wow, it's split so far. 
I am Someone say gonna... Mrs. Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I am also I am also going with Black Panther Wakanda forever. Um just just because it's all about recreating looks that you've seen before and it's so amazing, I'm going with Elvis. Man, they recreated that costume so well. Look at him wear that Did outfit it? somebody wore fifty years ago. Look at fat Elvis. TJ, Look TJ at him. going to the max with Elvis. Mm. Oh. Um, yeah, the Academy probably wishes Elvis was alive because they would suck his cock. So I'm going with that. Oh my god! Yuck. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, wow! Thank you, Pick up very much. Just home. I'm gonna go with Wakanda forever. I'm going with Babylon. <gasps> hey, Diego knows something we don't. <laughs> Man, no one picked Mrs. Harris. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit, we got a tit. The yeah. only thing I Mrs. Par no. Mrs. Harris goes to Paris is just like, "Man, y'all are a bunch of haters." <laughs> <laughs> There's only one. Okay, next one up we got is production design. All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, Babylon, Elvis, and The Fable Mans. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front, I do think, has a high chance to win this. Um, I could even see Elvis possibly win it, too. But my gut is just telling me that Babylon could take home this award uh, because, you know, how it portrays, like, very old-school Hollywood and all that, and the Academy tends to go towards stuff like that, so I'll say Babylon in this one. I'm going with La La Land, I mean Babylon. Uh, so yeah, Babylon. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm going for the Fablements. Ooh, okay. Let's go. I mean, alright, yeah, it, it'd be funny to give it to Avatar because, uh, wasn't that, like, mostly water and green screen? Yeah. Design water and green screen. That's true. <laughs> and design green screen. Babylon, baby. Hollywood. <clears throat> to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, it's probably Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> what the transition? So, this is the only one that. I am going with what I uh, like. Like I'm real. I'm only really going with because I'm hearing it's the favorite. So we're doing a throwback to the stats thing I did a few years ago. Um, because because I thought Elvis. This is the only thing I think I thought Elvis was gonna win. I know I'm in like a you know like a minority on that. Uh, but then like I was reading up on it and I am seeing like most people being like Babylon's probably gonna win. So I'm like okay, I'll go Babylon. So yeah. It it, it 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 won the ADJ or no ADG? Whoops, fuck that up. God damn it, Jackson. Fuck, fuck. ADG. So I'm I'm gonna go with Babylon. God damn it. Um, Babylon. Good. Uh, take that back. I'm just kidding. No, no. it's Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Babylon. Babylon. God damn it. I'm so sorry, Timothy. <laughs> T.I. all alone. Next one up we got is directing. So we got Martin McDonough for The Banshees of Inishirin. We got Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Sorry if I mispronounced that. For everything everywhere all at once. The Fable Steven Spiller for the Fablemans, Todd Field for Tar, and then Ruben Osland for Triangle of Sadness. No, thank you. I think with the I think with the amount of buzz um everything everywhere has been getting for it's like directing lately. I do think it could take home that one. Banshees has a chance, I think I think definitely. But I think they're definitely going to win this one, the Daniels. Um, I'm going to pick Daniel Craig for everything everywhere all at once. 
Uh, Daniels for everything everywhere. TBT, the replacement for TNT. Damn, Daniels. Back at it again with the gold mans. What? <laughs> I am very excitedly going to go with the Daniels. Uh, you know, the, the one thing I will say about this is, uh, you know, me and uh, Adam Haskell, if, if you told us back when Swiss Army Man came up that they would have a chance to win an Oscar a few years later, as much as we think they're talented, like, I just wouldn't believe it. So I think it's just really cool that they're, like, even, like, the favorites. So, yeah. Yeah, me too, Daniels. Let's go. Um, yeah, the Daniels. Well, I think I Daniel cracked the first out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a risk, uh, because I know how much the Oscars uh, love love this guy. I'm gonna go with uh, the Fablemans. Some sadly, though, he only has two Oscars. <laughs> um, I predict that the Daniels are going to win the Oscar for this one. Okay, everyone, we're getting close to the best picture. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, so we got original screenplay. We got The Banshees of Inishirin, Everything Error All at Once, The Fablemans, Tar, and Triangle of Sadness. This is one of the categories I really, really had to think so, so hard on because I was thinking, okay, what if Banshees of Inishirin is like the one award the Academy could give, like with Belfast last year? I was really thinking that, but then of another part of me is thinking they're going to probably want to award it to what's like the most original of the category. And whether people like or don't like the movie, Everything Everywhere is undoubtedly the most original of the bunch. So after doing really hard thinking, as much as part of me wants to go with Ben Shirin and Shirin, I just decided, and eh, screw it, I'm going with Everything Everywhere to win this award. Everything Everywhere. Uh, same for Everything Everywhere. Damn Daniels <clears throat> again. I also think this is going to go to the Daniels once again for everything ever all at once. Yeah, Daniels will sweep original screenplay and directing. If Steven Spielberg admires something about you, then I think that's high endorsement. Same here. I'm going to go with those Daniels. Same here. Okay. Now we're going to get into adapted screenplay. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, Living, Top Gun Maverick, and Women Talking. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about women talking, winning this award. Um, it seems to be the ones getting the most momentum uh, to win this, although it wouldn't surprise me if All Quiet on the Western Front could possibly win this one. I think there is a chance for this win. But, yeah, I'm going to go with Women Talking uh, to win this. I'm going to take a motorcycle jump risk, but Top Gun Maverick. All right. So before I say, Mario, can we just acknowledge, Jackson, that Aaron Kruger is now an Oscar nominee? Yeah. <laughs> you mean writer of Transformers 2, 3, and, three, and 4? four <laughs> the writer of Scream 3 and The Ring. <laughs> yes! yes. Uh, my, my choice is... Uh, uh... Oh, shit, this one's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Because I really do like all of these movies um, a lot. Um, I do think this is like maybe like the toughest category, to be honest. Yeah. God, dude. Screw it. I'm just going to fanboy it. Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, Top Gun. 
Yeah, Aaron Kruger. Yeah, you're still a shitty writer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking women talking. Women are talking, you mean? Damn it, I was about to make that joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Typical men taking shit away from the woman. You're right. Spoiler alert, they talk. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you gotta well, say it in a Marky well, Mark well, accent. I got spoiler. Though. I think women are, uh, women talking is gonna win. Um, I think Last Sunday and Alcott on the Western Front also have a chance. Uh, Living also has a chance. I don't know why the fuck Top Gun Maverick is nominated, <laughs> uh, but y- you know, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I I would love for Glass Onion to pull an upset because that's probably like if not my favorite movie like top five favorite movies of last year. But it, I, I'm I'm th- I'm thinking with stats in mind. Sorry, Violet. I'm thinking with the stats in mind, um, and I'm gonna go with <laughs> women are talking. <laughs> women are talking in my in, in my Wahlburgers restaurant. I hate it. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, let's go down to Fenway Park and get some burgers and some tater tots. <laughs> Uh, Join me on this it? Freya app with the Chosen cast. <laughs> oh shit, they're playing Fathers to Reborn on HBO right now. <laughs> um, uh, women talking. Ted, get in here. Women are talking is on. <laughs> oh boy, Johnny, I can't wait to watch Women Are Talking. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a curveball because, you know, I... Akira Kurosawa's Ikaru is so close to my heart, so I'm going to go with the British remake Living. Oh, nice. I just found out that movie was out. I didn't even know it was even out already. <laughs> I predict that woman talking will win the Oscar. Ah, see, I knew I made the right choice. That's right. <laughs> All right, everybody. writer. And now we are, of course, nominated. now, of course, we're at the finale, which is Best Picture. So we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Benches of Inishirin, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Fable Men's Tar, Talk and Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. Women are talking. Yeah, indeed. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Triangle of Sadness. <laughs> So it's kind of crazy. I know when this whole campaign started, Banshees of Inishirin was like the front runner to win it. Um, and it could possibly, but like with the amount of momentum Everything Everywhere has been getting with all these award shows, um, and it definitely has the most momentum, at least in my opinion, to win uh, Best Picture. That's what I think is going to take home Best Picture. Everything here, we're all at once. I am going to go with the same pick. Listen, uh, I'm very happy <clears throat> to see a movie like Top Gun that I've been looking forward to for so many years actually get nominated for this big Academy Award. Great news. That said, it has no chance to win. So... Um, personally, Everything Everywhere was my favorite movie of last year, so I'm going to go with that. Or at least it was until Avatar came out. Last year, I said Babylon was going to win, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, wait. <laughs> but I do think it will be Everything Everywhere, which... I'm just okay. like how Hugh Jackman should be a Best Actor nominee right now, but it should be Cats. Cats is gonna win Best Picture. We all know it. Meow. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? That's what more... I uh, very excitedly am gonna predict everything everywhere all at once. Yeah. Um, I did want to take a second to say this is like a great ten for the nominees. Love, I love this. Even Elvis, which I like, liked. I, I still, it's still, you know, it's like it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm not mad. You know, there's not a Bohemian Rhapsody on here, and I love it. I love it. There's love a Bohemian Rhapsody on. on here for me. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, I'm gonna say everything, everywhere, <laughs> all at once, though. Oh, it's my turn. Um, I, I actually think it's gonna be an upset with the Fablemans winning. But I, I, I don't know. I just think it's like 
the momentum is too, too strong for everything everywhere all at once right now. So I'm going with that. So naturally, he's going with Triangle of Sadness. That's right. Gross. I'm going to go with everything everywhere all at once as well. Talk about the disgusting scenes. Everything everywhere all at once is winning best picture. Man, imagine it does go to like I, fucking I, I, will, I will say. No. I, I will say because I'd like to get everyone's opinion on like what like if it, that doesn't win what they think will win. Um, I will say if that doesn't win, I actually think All Quiet on the Western Front's gonna win. If that doesn't win, I think that's what I think. Yeah, I can see that winning. They yeah, more yeah, I could definitely see that. I could see that being like the upset. Mm. But yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, a year ago. I remember we were all split with Best Picture, and now here we are a year later, and we all agree what's going to win uh, Best Picture at the Oscars. I just find that very fun. fun. Yeah, it's it's fun. I think like like almost like two thirds were like very very like similar on or like exactly the same. Uh, so it's going to be. I think it's gonna, it's going to be an interesting uh, results because we're going to be like close probably. I, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be very, very close. That's I would laugh. I would. I would laugh if Triangle of Sadness just won. And all like, oh, <laughs> I would. You know how. You know how sad I'd be if that happened. I'd be very upset. I'd be a, not a happy guy. Yeah. I'm sad. I think it's going to be a ten-way tie between everyone, <laughs> and they're going to have to swallow the Oscar in half. Okay, gang. Well, we did it. That was our Academy Awards 2023 predictions it has been a lot of fun i always love doing this with everyone i love seeing what everyone had to predict i love seeing some of the gambles you all had um some of the ones that we agree with are interesting but then i also acknowledge um even with the ones i'm predicting there are a few others that definitely have a chance to win um over what i like predicted over the categories but yeah it's been a lot of fun i really love doing this um and you know of course before we we all close out this video. I'm going to let everyone give their outros. If you want to plug in something of yours, like your channel or anything, feel free. Um, so, of course, we're going to go ahead and start off with Brian Mendoza. What are you talking about? My computer's already plugged in. Really, dude? Come on. <laughs> but all seriousness, I have a <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd. Yeah. Follow me on there. All right, my name is uh, Jackson Fulcher. Uh, my name is Jackson Fulcher. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. You, yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, though, thank you, Tony, for inviting me on this. Um, I'm glad to be here, especially the year that Top Gun's dominated. But, yeah. <laughs> display name. Wait, display what? name. What? Someone joined. And this... well, now they're gone. Maybe and it's Adam. How? Oh, what is this? Unfriended? <laughs> was that Adam? <laughs> Maybe it was Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Adam. He, he might be like, oh, we're already done filming, so we just crystal like the join. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Blooper. I was, I was so confused. What What the hell? This is the Unfriended 3, okay? I don't want to be in this movie. No. Okay. <laughs> So I know a certain shuff, someone that's an unfriended tree. Before I shove my hand in a blender like the guy did in Unfriended One, uh, I will see you guys in the next time. All right. Where can the people find you, Henry? Have the predictions done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having me. You can find me on Letterboxd, Serialize, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Wherever social media you, you may get your social media and since it is international women's day when we we're filming this i just want to say happy birthday to all the women in the world you were all born on this day thank you hadry hey wait a second <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday thank you very much violet and happy international women's day to you thank you thank you you're the first ever person who's ever said that to me thank you uh yeah uh happy to that um oh thank you for having me on uh, it was it was fun to be back here again 
Uh, and uh, yeah, the only thing I'm going to plug is my YouTube channel uh, that I barely <laughs> upload content on unless the weekend does something and then I'm just on there uh, automatically. Uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, with that, I'll see y'all uh, on Sunday. So woo! Thank you to the biggest fan of Family Camp I know, Mr. Fulcher. You, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's a it's a real disappointment that Family Camp isn't nominated in every goddamn category. Um, thanks for having me on once again. Oh, like I said before, love doing these. Uh, you know, another one in the bag. Can't wait for Sunday just to watch that ceremony and then come back on here and do the fucking results. I, I'm I'm really excited. Um, yeah, uh, if you if you want to see me talk about box office, which is what my fucking channel is now, I guess you could do that. It's just my my name. You can follow me on Letterboxd as well. That's where you can see what movies I've seen and what weird comment I will leave on it, whether it's a snappy, quippy remark or it's an actual like opinion that I want to present. I don't know. It's 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 anything, you know. Goodbye. Like, goodbye. Thank you very much, uh, Jordan, the most G-rated person I know. Where can the people find you? Well, uh, if you want some wholesome stuff, uh, you can follow me on uh, Letterbox, uh, Serialize, uh, Twitter. I have another Twitter. I have a professional Twitter. My other Twitter is private for personal reasons, but I also have a. You can follow me on Facebook if you want, but I'm not going to follow you back. Uh, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, but I'm not going to follow you back. Uh, <laughs> But uh, if you want to check out my YouTube channel I, and my Vimeo channel, I have a bunch of movies I've made from uh, from Dark Grey Blue, Silent Fairy Tales, to recently Muscle Man's Christmas Drive. And I probably have another movie probably out this year at some point. Woo! Thank you very much, Andrew the Duck. Uh, yeah, no, this is fun as always. Um, looking forward to the results. It's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, but I think we all kind of like predicted similarly. Uh, there was very few times I feel like it was different. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, don't find me, please. And lastly, thank you, Diego Coya, for joining us. Where can the people find you? Thank you, Tony. Um, you know, I was happy to be on today. Uh, you guys can find me on Letterboxd, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Serialized. Um, I'm pretty, I'm mostly active on Letterboxd, though, because I watch a movie like every single day. Um, but thanks again, Tony. I am excited to for this Sunday, um, not just for the Oscars, but for the results uh, to see like who wins and how we all did ultimately. And I'm looking forward to uh, being back on this channel anytime soon uh, hopefully so thanks again tony and of course everyone i do have my own letterbox account as well if you want to follow me there that's where you can keep up with all of my movie activity i also have a serialized where you can keep up with all my tv activity and i also got snapchat i got tiktok i got twitter i got the instagram i got the book face um i got all of that so if you want to follow me there go ahead go crazy but don't get too crazy and then, of course, like some of the others have already stated, we will be back here on Sunday to see how we all did, who will be the winner, who will be at the bottom place. And from there, we'll also talk about like what, what first place gets, what last place gets. We'll talk about all that when we get to the results video. And this is 22 Tiger Dude here with Brian, Timothy, Henry, Violet, Jackson, Andrew, Jordan, and Diego. And don't forget that all nine of us will always have Did that work? <laughs> 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 <laughs>